But thanks be to God. What? Which giveth us the victory. Which giveth us what? The victory. The what? The victory. Say it again. The victory. The victory. Everybody say it together. The what? The victory. Finish it out. What's it say? Through our Lord Jesus Christ. How many of you all are thankful that we got the victory? Amen. If you're thankful, stand to your feet and give God some praise. Amen. Because we do have the victory through, yeah. through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Last verse, say, brother. Therefore, therefore, do what? My beloved brother. My beloved brother, what? Be ye steadfast. Steadfast. Unmovable. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. You can stop for a little while. You can always. Take a break. Always Amen. abounding. Always, church. Amen. Those who go to church here, they know I always repeat this minister. I heard this minister once say, uh, I'm all and always. He said all means all, and that's all it means. God wants us to always abound in the work of the Lord. For as much what? For as much as ye know. For as much as you know what? That your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Don't stop working for God. Amen. Don't stop living for God. All right. Don't stop running for God. Because one thing is for sure, your race is not in vain. Amen. Your race is not in vain, nor is it without a cause. In closing, y'all know the verse. This verse reads. St. John 5.25. I was thinking back before I had even gotten into the ministry. Seemed like there was two people that I was preaching to day in and day out. This was before I got married. Those right. two people were Sister Talandi and Sister Tar. Preaching to them day in and day out. All right. And the Lord gave me this scripture anytime I would preach to them. <coughs> anytime I would preach to them at the conclusion, I would have them read this scripture. St. John 5.25 says what? Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, verily, I say unto you. What? The hour is coming. The hour is coming. And what? And now is. And now is that hour. And now is that hour. It's not coming a couple of days from now. All right. It's not coming a week from now. Verily, verily, I say unto you. The hour is coming, and now is. When what? When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. When the dead, when the dead, when the dead. The dead are those who are not living the life that is pleasing to God. All right. The dead are those who are walking to and fro not even knowing which direction they're going in. All right. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when what? When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. When the dead shall hear the voice. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And the ones who have an ear to hear. What's it say? And they that hear. And those individuals that hear. You know, Elder Mark said he had a, a bookmark up mm -hmm. that he hung up in his bus when he would drive bus. Yes. And it said, God still speaks to those who listen. Amen. God still speaks to those who listen. Amen. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming. And what? And now is. And now is that hour. 
When what? When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And what? And they that hear. And they that hear. Shall live. And they that hear. And they that hear. And they that hear. Say it with me, church. And they, they that, that hear. Shall do what, brother? Shall live. Shall live. Thank you, brother. Amen. Thank you, congregation. God is able to do all things. God is coming back one day, church. He's coming back to look for a church, to look for a people without spot or wrinkle. He's coming back for that individual who has lived a life that is pleasing in the eyesight of God. Brother, if you'd be so kind, softly and tenderly, we're going to open up the doors of the church. If there's an individual in the midst that is tired of the life that they're living, if there's an individual who says, you know what, I want to leave yesterday and yesterday. I want God to be in my tomorrow. If that life that you're living is not pleasing in the eyesight of God, all you got to do is give your hand to God. It said, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth to much. We got a couple of righteous men up here ready to pray, ready to open up the doors for you. A life well pleasing. While the brothers are singing the song softly and tenderly, if you feel conviction in your heart that you know my, my soul just is not right with God who cares what your friends may say what this one may say or that one may say say so you know what I'm trying to make it into God's kingdom and I know in order to make it into God's kingdom I've got to do things God's way while the song is being played. Don't harden your heart. Because we don't know the day nor the hour that the Son of God is coming back. And the last thing that you want is for him to look over you. He's going to go to those individuals and say, that's my beloved son. And whom I'm well pleased. While the brothers are singing the song, you may come forward and give the ministers your hand and God your heart. Children, and he sent me here 
to tell.